anyone that took the vaccine. You don't have any idea what you're talking about. Well, I think maybe I'll bring that one up. I'm pretty sure I'm right on solid on that one. Oh, yeah, yeah. Well, just keep trying. Why well, you keep trying to debunk me, Joe? Well, I do, uh, and every one of them have been, has been successful. Cool. You are just full of it, Philip. He wasn't just trying. He succeeded there, Skeezix. And we want to decide you want. Okay, if I'm the property of Pfizer, I did take the Pfizer vaccines. Uh, if, I, if Pfizer owns me, uh, do they have to pay for my upkeep? Can I send them a bill or something? Uh, I guess you can sue them. I don't know. Why would I sue them? They might have kept me alive. No. <laughs> yeah, you can't believe in that, Joe. Yeah. Well, you see, I believe in science and technology and moving forward. I'm not like a person like you that looks backwards and said everything we had in the past is good and great and everything in the future is scary and bad. I, I think you got that 100% backwards, Philip. you say today, Philip, if they come out and say that you have to be vaccinated, you're not going to comply, except, except, you said that if in order for me to go get my necessary medical treatment, I have to be. I can't take it anymore. So what happens? Take a shower and hit the hay there. And Gotta get out of here. Get to you tomorrow morning, partner. You have a wonderful evening. And, okay, uh, hit the road. Stay safe. Kilo Juliet 4, Romeo Echo Zulu 73. All right, so you have a good evening, man. Catch you tomorrow. Katie Cool, Katie Apple. Yeah, anybody who wants to contact the IRS on that uh, call sign, I got the call sign here. Yes. Anyway. Good luck. Knock yourself out. Oh, you, you admitted some things. That's very interesting. Oh, absolutely, and I stand by it 1,000%. Okay, okay, well, we'll see. Anyhow, I don't have time for you. I got better things to do. That's right. I'll catch you later, Philip. Like, hide his uh, IRS and tax stuff. Back taxes. Check the box exempt on Farm W-2. No, you don't. You don't fill out W-2. You fill out W-4. When you check that thing that says exempt on W-4, it says that you, you are authorizing your employer not to withhold federal income taxes. It has nothing to do with whether you owe federal income taxes beep, 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 It is just whether you're telling your employer to withhold them or not. Again, just like Philip, this interpreting basic thing. And again, and again, does it not say all that for taxes are voluntary? No, it doesn't say taxes are voluntary. It does not say that. You got the form in front of you, Bill? all these people that are called tax attorneys? Why do we have all these people that are called accountants? If taxes aren't required, why in the hell do we have accountants? It should be just a free-for-all. Because it's all a fraud, and that's how they keep it up. That's right. Oh, yeah, yeah it's, it's a fraud. It's a fraud. And they make all these other jobs available to all the other people that play the loophole. Who are these people? Where did you go to school, R.E.Z.? Where did you go to school? I mean, I'm, I'm absolutely convinced Philip didn't go to school at all. Uh, I forgot mean, I was stoned. Maybe you might have gone to school, but wh where? Where did you go? He graduated with honors from the Alabama Institute of Engineering. Yeah. Yeah, maybe you should ask Philip uh, one of the most basic things in electronics, Ohm's Law. 
Let's ask him a basic Ohm's Law question and see if he can answer it. It's so simple. It is absolutely so simple, it ought to be like second nature. But you're a ham and you don't even know it. How can you even judge anything? Doesn't even know it. Has no idea what it is. How did you get into it? You see, that's the problem. Well, let's make a test. We'll have multiple choice and we'll tell people the answer is B. So people won't say, well, how would you actually figure that out? They wouldn't do that. They'll just say, if you see this question, it's B. Remember that. And that's what we have. You've got a, mu a bunch of multiple choice, memorize the answer hams out here. And then they start thinking they know about other subject matters, some of them far more complicated. Like, like tax law. People spend decades studying the tax law, but Philip knows it just by reading an article. You don't have to have any expertise, according to Philip. You don't have to know all the court cases. You don't have to know anything. You can just say, oh, no, uh, they're voluntary. I don't have to. I'm done. Is that you, Tommy? Uh, what, what are you going to do to me? Over? How yeah, about it, too, Stoker Joe? My long dick's waiting on you. That yeah, sounds like it. You sound, uh, sound hey, converted. Hey, and... My long dick's waiting on you. Yeah. Hey, how's your battle going with you two? I'm going to laugh when that thing's still up there two months from now. Oh, I got I got some news for your friend. Uh, you know your friend Stevie there that was really going after Jenny on the YouTube channel. Yeah, Jenny's no longer doing that YouTube because of the harassment by you guys. By the way, I think they reported that, but uh, that's another issue. Her husband. Her husband has taken over the channel now. So you're not dealing with this woman anymore that you could bully. I think she's not going to bully very well. interesting is they've got that other woman on 3810 and she's always speaking up for women and when they started beating up on Jenny that, that person just sat back and kept her mouth closed I was kind of confused by that well even when she opens her mouth I don't know what she's saying so it really doesn't matter well you got a point there I, I do have problems understanding that yeah, she was all about it. Jenny this and Jenny that. It's like, oh, that's kind of weird. Anyway, Jenny's out of the game now. Now it's her husband, and he's pissed. Can you blame like him? How his uh, wife got treated by some of you hams. I'm pretty sure he's going to record everything that you guys say on ham radio, and if it gets spicy, I'm pretty sure I know where it's going to be. Uh -huh. I bet you bitch that fucking football player over a ribbon in Fuck in. Uh, I'm not sure about your habits, but uh, you know you should keep them to yourself. I bet you gave her annual sex, did you? You got a copy, WD-670. He sounds like a truck driver. He does. I don't know what he does for a living, but probably nothing. It sounds like he might be in a truck right now. There's a lot of wind rushed by the microphone. Hey, he spends a lot of time on the road for some reason. I don't know if you all can copy, over. Go ahead, number six, I can't believe some of the stuff I hear here. I mean, I can't even comprehend most of it. <laughs> Fine.
Zionist group. I actually, uh, there was a group on 7188, maybe about a year ago, and somehow they got into it with this group. I kind of noticed that, and I just noted it. And there, periodically, I would just yeah. spin down here to listen to him. Joey just decided to come down here and start trouble one day, and he decided on his own he was going to persistently climb up there every day and have time for over 10 weeks. What do you want to do that? Oh, what do you mean by quorum? You mean come down here and join in with the with the round table discussion? No. You come down here and you start talking over the top of people, uh, just like you got you know, 80 watts, Philip. Already. Got 80 watts. 80 watts, Philip. I'm talking yeah, over people. Yeah, I know. Uh, you turn the amp off. Let's get the amp hot again. No, no, but when I turn the amp on, you're going to see the difference. I, I haven't turned it on yet. I'm not talking well, over anybody. Turn it you have it on. I'm running right about 45 watts. Yeah, that's about all it lasts. calls this group the Outlaws. You know, it's kind of like a little CB chat line, the Outlaws. That's what he's always called it, the Outlaws. He runs people off that he doesn't like because he thinks this is some sort of quasi net. Thinks it's some sort of quasi net, but it's totally undirected. It's just a free for all. When somebody comes in, they question something he said. Converse. He immediately and uh, get along real good. And everywhere Joey goes, he has no group that wants to converse. So Joey goes to places where people get along and tries to cause hate and discontent. Hate and discontent. Hey, Joey. In your case, you're a narcissist. I'm a narcissist. <laughs> Narcissist. Is that like an egotistical drug dealer? Is that what you are? Are we getting more self description there from you, Joey? Are you selling crack, Joey? No, I don't do drugs. Oh, you just sell them? Uh, I thought you were uh, uh, wigging out the other day. It sounded like you couldn't wait for uh, a drug dealer to show up. No, I don't need drugs. Uh, like you, if you don't have that drug, you'd be dead in a day, right? That's the guy who can't get along with anybody. You'd be dead in a day. You're that heart valve would get coated up and you'd lock up. He's a nasty uh, person. Why are you taking it then, Philip? Well, I'm taking less now than I did in the beginning. Oh, and have I'll you told your doctor about that? Time goes on. And at uh, one point, I won't be taking any of it. What about cigarette smoke? You're still addicted to oh, cigarettes. No, cigarette smoke. I'm up seven packs a day, Jeff. Almost eight. I think I'm going to try eight packs a day for a while. What do you think about that? It's called a fucking white owl. Well, you are addicted to cigarettes, Philip. You know that. Uh, what do you think about that, Joe? I don't think I'm going to start smoking eight packs a day. I love taking tobacco. I know you. You said it. You 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 don't want to stop. You love cigarettes, and I think yeah, that's just well, another addiction. Yeah, yeah. Hey, dude, don't you don't want to smoke eight packs a day if I want. I go for it, I guess. I mean, yeah, go for it, then I do sugar Joe. I got Well, you don't buy real cigarettes. You're you're so poor, you have to buy tobacco. I hear other losers doing that same. You're not the only bum I've heard say that. You know, you, you buy those cigarette tubes and you buy pipe tobacco off of eBay. That's right, buddy. And you make your own cigarettes there. It's a lot cheaper and a lot cleaner. Yeah, make your own cigarettes and you're saving money. That way you can smoke more. That makes a lot of sense. Yeah. Clean flavored tobacco. Oh, yeah, I bet you do. So you you do quality control checks on that tobacco you're getting that you buy online. You're doing quality control checks there. 
Do you have a, a chemical lab there that you could... Uh, chemical lab? I don't play with chemicals, Joe. Well, you make a mess up there, Joe? You got a chemical lab. Are you making mess, Joe? I'm asking you, how do you know that that tobacco is good? I think mean, Joe's making mess. He, he's got a chemical lab. He tests everything. He must be making mess with that chemical lab. It's just like those acupuncture yeah, needles. Yeah, so it's the same, same, same thing. thing. You're still putting it in your body. It's all natural, huh? What I have to take is natural. Is it all natural, that tobacco? How do you know that? Oh, oh yeah, yeah. You know, you buy it, Philip. You buy pipe tobacco. Yeah, I'm buying off the guy that grows the tobacco. Yeah, yeah, yeah I bet it's, uh, he doesn't put any kind of chemicals on there to keep those weevils out of there or anything, right? Nope. No, no. He's a good old boy. Oh, he's a good old boy. Yeah, that's what they say down there at the, uh, the heroin dealer, too. He's got good stuff, right? But none of them grow for him either. His face is natural and clean. Yeah, tobacco is natural and clean, guys. You heard it here first. That tobacco that Philip is smoking is healthy. It's actually good for you. Well, maybe I'll go read some science articles. Yeah, yeah, you need to go read some science. First of all, you need to go back to fourth grade science. And by the time you get to maybe, I don't know, 11th grade, you might actually be able to read an article and understand it. But you're so far behind, you're never going to ever catch up. You don't have the prerequisites, Philip. You don't understand things. You don't stop talking long enough to... Listen, you. you talking to me, asshole? Yeah. Yeah. Well, Philip just gets caught in one damn lie after another. He's out here now saying that tobacco is good for you. 178 forever chemicals in your store bought food. Enjoy, Joe. Well, that's true, probably, but you know what? Yeah, it don't kill you know, like tobacco does. Yeah, I know what. You're smoking chemicals. Yeah, what does your doctor say about your chain smoking? I mean, is he just giving up? I bet he's giving up. I bet he doesn't even say a word to you anymore. It probably says, oh, here comes the chain smoking asshole again. And I have to try to keep alive. You know? I think he's I'm a good doctor, but I'm not a miracle worker. And these assholes that chain smoke come in here, and then I have to work on their heart. There's a long dick waiting on you. Poor baby. That's right. That's what he has to do. Forty pounds. Bet he doesn't say a damn word to Philip about his smoking. I bet he just got he's got a note on his chart that says long Wait a minute. That motherfucker was a lawyer a minute ago. Now he's a fucking doctor. Now Philip is the one saying he believes in holistic medicine, but he smokes cigarettes. And when I pointed out that that is an inherent contradiction, Philip said, oh no. Oh no, that smoking can actually be good for you. I mean, he sounds like some of those doctors in the 1930s that were telling pregnant women that they need to smoke cigarettes. It's a personal choice. Yeah, smoking cigarettes is a personal choice. Okay. How about heroin? How about heroin? I'm okay with that. Heroin's a personal choice also. Okay, set now. It's all cut up, and all I got to do is grind it to Cigarettes. Yeah, that's what I do, Joe. Oh, I know, and those cigarettes are good for you, aren't they? Yeah, real tobacco. Listen to this freak cake out there. That's Tom.
Tommy, oh, yeah, is the Suffolk, the best B.I., if you can believe that. Or CIA, I can't remember which it is. It's FBI or CIA, one of the two. Cigarettes from the manufacturers, the pack of cigarettes that uh, are contained in uh, 30 some different chemicals. Yeah, that's what you would do, Joe. That's not what I do. No, Joe.